Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of beryllium chloride. In order to do that, I'm going to create a little table to help us organize the information. Bam! So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the particular element. So I have beryllium, Be, and I have chlorine, Cl. The next is to write down the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of beryllium, there is a 1. Even though it's not there, there is a 1 there. And then chlorine, the bottom of that is a 2, right? So I have two chlorines, that means. That's what the subscripts tell us. Then we're going to multiply by the mass of each element, and that's where we use our periodic table, so let's check it out. So beryllium here is about 9.01, and chlorine here is about 35.45. They... Those units there for those numbers would be either gram per mole if you're calculating molar mass or AMU if you're calculating molecular mass, all right? So this is going to be 9.01, and then the uh, molar mass of then chlorine is about 35, 35.45. And now to find the total mass then of the uh, individual element, we just simply multiply this row across. So 1 times 9.01 means that there's a total mass of beryllium of 9.01. And then 2 times 35.45 for chlorine means that there is a total of 70.90 uh, units of mass for chlorine. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add that column together. And when you do that, it works out to be 79.91. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in grams per mole. And that's as simple as that. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.